Dollar One, we out here once again giving all praises to y'all. Watch me outside. Watch me outside. We get right into it. We're going to go into a list that I got. See what the spirit takes us. As soon as you get uh, set set up, I want you to go to uh, Amos 1, verse 11. These are standard scriptures. Let's see where the spirit takes us. one and eleven it says thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Edom and for four I will not turn away the punishment now because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever so read that again Amos 1 and 11 Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment there, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Yeah, he never he never showed his love. Now you got these Christians that say you gotta show Esau love. Esau never showed us love. Aren't you, aren't you Christians go up to the Edomites? And ask them why don't that why haven't they showed us love man? Give me Romans uh, 13. I think believe it's Romans 13 and 10. Okay, the book of Romans 13 chapter the 10th verse. It says, um, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Yeah, you're always saying you gotta love your neighbor. What about telling Esau he gotta love his neighbor? is the fulfilling of the law. Right, so the fulfilling of the law is love worketh no ill to his neighbor. So that's all this devil did. How do you think you got this land? You took it from the North American Indians. That's uh, Yeah, go ahead and read that. It's uh, Deuteronomy 19 and 14. Okay, that's it. Also, matter of fact, you read all these scriptures. 
Deuteronomy 19 and 14. Then Deuteronomy 27 verse 17. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Deuteronomy 19 and 14. 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 Yeah, Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance. Yeah, so what the white, so what the so-called white man did, what uh, you Edomites, you done took the every. As soon as you step out the the, the land of uh, Esau or the Mount Seir, as soon as you step out that land and take another land, that's death. You remove somebody's landmark, meaning you put, you said this is our land now. Yep. So you're that great thief. You're that great thief. Read again. Uh, Deuteronomy 19 and 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. Uh, picking up the example of uh, the Indian Removal Act. Now, the so-called North American Indians, they're really our brothers. They're of the tribe of Gad, of the nation of Israel. So you had something called, and you people out there, you can Google this, you had something called the, the Indian Removal Act. And that, that well, the word in the scripture is removed. So you can't say, well, that one thing has nothing to do with the other. It, 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 you, the re Indian Removal Act, meaning you removed them from their board, from their land. Stolen, pretty much. So that was a violation of uh, Deuteronomy 19 and 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord thy power giveth thee to possess it. Well, go, give me uh, Deuteronomy, uh, no, go to Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 8. Okay, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. It says, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the sons of Israel. It says children, but the Hebrew sons. For the Lord's Yeah, that was the part of land that, that the Most High gave to the Israelites. He said he set up the, the land based upon Israel. He's gonna give them the you're gonna give Israel the best part of the land. Now I'm gonna show you what the land is. Keep reading and then go from there to uh Genesis uh, 15. I believe you can start the 12 first. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according that to That shows you right there that the Most High is not does not love all of the sons of Adam. And so when he separated the sons of Adam, because what's the separation? You Israelites, Edomites, Moabites, Ammonites. Come on. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Yeah, because he made sure that everybody got their land, but but the best land is where Israel's going to dwell. Is there more to that? Yeah, uh, the, the next person. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. That's telling you who the most highest people are, the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy 7 verse, uh, uh, what is that? I believe it's 7 verse 6. Yeah, 7 verse 6. Matter of fact, start from 1. Book of Deuteronomy 7 and so 1. So the most high is not a man that he should change. That's right. Therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. <laughs> Most high that it didn't change, so he's not gonna all of a sudden love everybody now. He loves his people Israel. You 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 come behind Israel. The people that's gonna rule the next kingdom are the Israelites, the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. So you can come with your Christian bullshit. Just that too. It's because it's all bullshit. Yeah. I was watching uh, this this morning, you had uh Captain Tazariak, you had uh Sister Cherry and a lot of Christians calling in. I wouldn't even allow them. I don't want to deal with y'all. I don't want to deal with y'all. You gonna call, call in and ask and, and bring up the same scriptures that we covered? Well, what about the Gentiles? We showed you that the Gentiles are Israelites. Then, like I said, you Christians cannot get together and have a meeting because nobody follows you. Everybody leaving for sure. So, in order for you to have people uh, uh, follow you. You got to put Israel, you know, Christianity goes up against Israel, I mean, uh, Israelites and so forth. Because you got you guys that call yourself Christians are not, not really Christians. 
go on the comment section of uh, any of uh, Full Cat Balloon's uh, videos. It's not one scripture. You might you might see like 20, uh, 20 comments and maybe one scripture, and then they'll break that down the wrong way. Right. You need us. We don't need you. That's right. The Lord's not dealing with you. Yep. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 1. When the Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Pezzarites, uh, Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou, and when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. The word smite means to kill, and that never changed. And when we take over this man's system, oh, yeah. you're gonna, we're going to do it by killing. That's right. Uh, the third verse. In other words, you're going into slavery under the Israelites. The whole world, all nations are going into slavery under the Israelites. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. Neither shalt thou make marriages, marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto thy son. No. I was talking about the Canaanites. Because even uh, uh, Isaac and Rebecca got mad at the fact that Esau. No, just the draft, right. Esau uh, got with a with a Canaanite. Come on. Uh, the third verse. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shall not give unto thy thy daughter. Numbers talk about the Canaanites because we had women among the other nations. The word the word uh, woman in the scriptures in the New Testament is the word ayasha, or the word wife is the word ayasha. Right. And when you go to Deuteronomy 21, 10 on down. It says that she shall be cut, you shall go into her, and she shall become your wife. Your woman. Your woman. Your woman. That's all it means. That's all it means. Uh, and by the way, the word woman means servant. So she shall become your servant. And that's the purpose of your women. The purpose of your women is to serve us. That's why you're created. Yeah, because you guys going back and forth with the great thing. First of all, women had limited rights that men men had more rights than women. A Hebrew man can sell his daughter to another Hebrew man, and he and he can decide to uh, have have that woman maiden be with his son, or he can decide to take her take her for himself. And she had no say in the matter. Rebecca had no say in the matter. Right. Uh, Leah and Rachel had no say in the matter because what was the deal for the seven years for uh, Rachel? It was between. It was between uh, Jacob and um, and uh, Laban, which they were relatives. Right. The two the two daughters of Laban were cousins to uh, uh, to uh, uh, Jacob. Right. So they had a they had a deal. They said, "Look, I'll work seven years, and at the end of the seven years, I want your young daughter, Rachel." Right. So Laban agreed. So he worked the seven. He couldn't come nowhere near the near the daughter. So he worked seven years, and then what he did was he supplanted them, and he gave them uh, the older daughter, which was Leah. Yeah. Yeah. And so he said, well, wait a minute, you gave me the wrong daughter. And he said, well, the custom, which is law, right. unwritten right. law, right. is that you give away the older sister for the younger one. That's right. And that was all set up in the spirit. The most high wanted it to happen. Right. So what he did was he was so into Leah that he said, I'll work another seven years. And Rachel, I'll Rachel. work another seven years. Now, I met chicks like that. When I was living out in Colorado, there was this chick that when she was good. She looked good. You know, I looked at her, she said, yeah, she looked good. When I met her sister, her sister was way, as good as this one looked, uh -huh. her sister was way funnier than the other sister. And um, then, she, then the chick started liking me, the, the, the older one, you know? Right, right, right. She was the older one, but she was the finer one. But the but the one that wasn't as fine, she was fine too, you know? Yeah, they were, matter of fact, they were, they were uh, their fathers, their father was uh, 
a Jake that fought in World War II, and he fell in love with a Japanese woman. I met the mother. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Now they look like Hawaiians. I thought if you if you didn't know anybody, you thought they were Hawaiians, man. Or one of the Latin tribes. And then the chick, the oldest sister was 26 years old. She was a school teacher. I was 16 at the time. But she was always rubbing on me. She made sure she sat there, you know, but I was a kid. I mean, I knew about girls, but you know, she was way older than me, man. You know? Yeah. But um, so let's let's bring it back to the subject. Right. So Leia was a beautiful woman, obviously, but but uh Rachel was super fun. More beautiful than this. Hey, you know you got you dealt with women that got sisters and the, and the sister be finding it. Yep. You know? Yeah, she finding it, she finding yeah. it her, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or you might look at the mother. And the mother might be fine in all of them. Back then, the mother, I said, well, I see where you got your look from. Yep. Your, your, your mother, you know? That's right. So it was a it was a thing. He was he was all enamored. How you doing, brother? All right? And he was all he was all enamored by uh, by um, you know by Rachel, you know? Yeah, you know you're Israelite? Okay, what camp what camp you with? Okay, you gotta get with a camp though. Okay, okay. Hey, right. you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna let you deal with them young brothers. Yeah, over there. Just tell them that you want to join the camp. Across the street. Shake boy, you work with them, brother. Across All right. the street, All right, brother. you'll see them on the corner. What's, what's your name, huh? Donnell. There's no there's no translation for the word Donnell. Oh, no. Prism, principal means anointed. Um, you so your name will be. Of Ma Mashaya, 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 Messiah, Mashaya. So remember that name, brother. No, they just young brother. You work better with them. You work way better with them. Brother. Um, of course, of course. But take notes, keep coming, and then eventually we'll open open the door seat. All right, brother, slow, slow, brother. All right. Hey, hey, because them young brothers got to do work too. Yeah, yeah. They got to do work too. They got to be able to deal with, you know, people. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Hey, so guess what? He found out where we was. Man's you know? going to the Lord. Yeah. Man's going to the Lord. So he got a name, Mashaya. Uh, back to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 7 and 3, it says, Neither shall they make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. No the hard part. Oh, yeah. That yeah. yeah. That's the Smile. <laughs> when did you learn to uh, I do. I know, I know you're going to say that. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 3, Neither shall thou make marriages with them, Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son no, from following me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. For they will turn away thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy you, and destroy thee suddenly. Which, which that was a, a main infraction that Israelites committed against the Heavenly Father, that is serving other gods. Because when you go back to the commandments, right? In the book of Exodus, it says, uh, what's the first commandment? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So this nation, they were notorious for serving other gods, and that's why all that punishment came upon this nation. Okay? Uh, you want to know why we went into slavery and cargo slave ships? Worshiping other gods. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay? So, reading on, it says, uh, the fifth verse, But thus shall ye deal with them, Will you read from? Uh, Deuteronomy 7, 5, and it's talking about the Canaanites. But thus shall ye deal with them, ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn their graven images with fire. And really, that's what you're supposed to do with Esau's image. Like that so-called white man Jesus, you're really supposed to set that on fire, man. 
That, that's a false guy. Oh, let's go to jump to the 27 first. Yeah. So that's all a, you, all you jerks on this side that keep with these idols and going to churches, you're all going to die. The old women going to die. The old men, the pastors, the children, pregnant women. The most, no, the most I going to kill all of you. Give me uh, Ezekiel nine and four after that. Okay. There's no 27 verse. Where you at? You in Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy 7. Deuteronomy 7. Try 25. Okay, 25, right. Uh, well, I'll start at 20. Yeah, 25. So like, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 25. The, gra the graven images of their gods shall he burn with fire. Again, that, that, that so-called white man image that a lot of you Israelites are mesmerized by, you're really supposed to set that on fire because number one, the Heavenly Father don't look like that. And his son doesn't look like that, and the angels don't look like that. And, and the Bible calls that blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which, by the way, there's no forgiveness for. There's no forgiveness for that sin. Okay? So those of you who still have that image in your home, uh, you should get rid of well, that ultimately image. Ultimately, they'll forgive, they'll forgive you. Because uh, the, uh, ultimately, the ones that don't wake up to it, they're going to die and they're going to come back anyway. Yeah. So ultimately, they're going to be forgiven. Well, Israelites, yeah, but the, 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 the Edomites. Yeah, well, they ain't going to be forgiven anyway, yeah, even exactly. if they do the right thing. They, they committed something called blasphemy. That's why Yahweh I mentioned blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's what the Edomites committed. What's an example of that? When they said that the, the Edomites said they look like the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the angels. That's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and there's no forgiveness for that. Okay? So, you know, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 25, uh, it says, the graven images of their gods shall he burn with fire. Thou shall not... So so now, you know, IUIC did a church blitz and not one... What happened? <laughs> no, 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 what you said, IUIC. <laughs> uh -oh. IUIC did a church blitz on these different churches. Right. And first of all, what was in the church? Uh, white images of uh, so-called Jesus. Man. Right. So how did you think that you were going to wake them people up? How do you think they were going to say, okay, we're going to wake up, we're going to wisdom, give you a picture of Jesus is burning? Right. First of all, the church has got to burn that picture of Jesus. There ain't no way in hell you're going to wake them niggas up in church, right? Right. And they had the one video, I believe it was Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken, or it could have been Georgia, but the video was on IUIC Philadelphia. You had a couple of brothers from IUIC talking to a pastor. The pastor, Jake Pastor, let him let you in the church in the office. And he said, well, before you come to my congregation, you got to come through me first. Well, he's going to, they wouldn't listen to the congregation and listen to him. So y'all was going to the scriptures, and every time y'all went to a scripture, he he he, buck, he, he uh, bucked up against it. So I said, you should have just got, just got up, but wait a minute, I know, he said, I know as many scriptures as y'all know, maybe more. And it all starts, and I said, look, this, I said, this shit ain't working out. Right. You go out with a chick, right? She acting stupid. You go to a restaurant and you're thinking to go to the movie, she acting stupid, you want to cut they want to cut that date. You want to say, look, bitch, I don't want to deal with you no more. I've got to brought the order the mill, eat the mill, I'm gonna give you a tax and go home. I'm not gonna drop your ass home. Right. You hell a cab for the bitch. Mm -hmm. You hell a cab for her. Let her get in the cab. Goodbye. Give the give the taxi driver a, a damn trip uh, a tip. And that's it, don't see the bitch no more, you know? Right. 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 Yeah, um, the reason why I said oh shit because uh, Elder Sakran, you can, or Bishop Sakran, uh. Bishop Elder, <laughs> you can uh, expound on it. We were talking about uh, IUIC and how they come in in that name, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So you can expound. On yeah, no, because pretty that. much if you come in the name of Jesus or Christ or Jesus Christ, because they try to be slick. Sometimes they say Christ. Oh, Sometimes well, they cut. Oh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Exodus, uh, Exodus 23 and 13. I'm almost positive for Exodus 23 and 13. Not Exodus and Leviticus 23 and 13. Yeah, because that group. Now Matter of fact, see, start from the first verse. Go to the first two verses, then jump down to the 13th verse. Even though they know that they're Israelites, they're coming in another name. And really, that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Right. They're, that's they're, why the most are going to destroy that school. There you go. Um, I, I got it, bro. Go okay, ahead. go ahead. Exodus 23, verse 1. Thou shalt not. Raise a false report. Put put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. I was trying to send y'all little messages. 
I had a I had a, a, a employment issue. Like they just was giving me don't all worry, kind don't of. Don't worry, don't worry about it, brother. You, you I worked brother. it out. I've been seeing. I've been seeing him. I thought you did. Nah, I thought you nah. did the exit. Brother. I, I told him because <laughs> we wasn't together. They were bringing the wine in the. Huh? That's right, because we wasn't together. I was like, yo, you got to get up there. Mm. You have to. You have to. For you the are. Sake you all right, brother? Yeah, come on, come on. Thank you, elder. <laughs> you all right, man? You all right? Yeah, we gonna go over here with the brother. Come on, come on. Love you with y'all, man. Shalom. Shalom. See you, man. All right, Exodus 23, verse 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Right, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Yeah. So you got a bit, you got a thousand members in the IUIC. And what they do is they just blindly follow these guys. Right. Whatever they do. Whatever Blind they sheep. Say. Like blind sheep. Yep. To the, the slow. blind lead the blind. Those so what? Those so both fall into a ditch. Yep. So if 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 uh, the leadership, well, not the leadership. It's only one leader. Ain't nothing. Then the rest of them are followers. Ain't no leadership. It's lead turn. Forget about the ship. It's true. You know. It's true. If he says they put out that karadma, they're gonna ask him, "What do we do?" And if he says, "Go ahead and take it," guess what? The majority, ninety-five percent of them, is gonna take it. Yeah, what the uh, elder pastor said is true. There is no leadership because that dude came on a horse. He didn't just come on a horse. He was making a statement that he's the undisputed leader right. of IUIC. Yeah, how come his yeah. how come his men didn't come on didn't horses? Come on horse. And yeah. then his men should ask him, well, how, how come we ain't riding horses? Yeah. He made it. He was making a declaration. I'm the undisputed leader of IUIC. So what the pastor said is true. Verse two. That, no. means, oh, you can't tell, that means you can't tell him. Nothing. Yeah, so, there, so there's no there's no leadership in IUIC. There's only a leader, and the rest of them are followers. So he's a dictator. He's he's a he's a black bag one rush niece. Yep. Yeah, he's a dictator. He's the black David Koresh. Yep. yep. Yeah. Verse two: Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Yeah, rest judgment. In other words. You see some wickedness goes on and you look the other way or you go with it because you lead it to Now give me, what is that? Uh, is that uh, Ezekiel 5 and 1? I'm sorry. Uh, it's either Exodus 5 and 1 or Leviticus 5 and 1. Go to, go to Exodus 5 and 1. Uh, Exodus 5 and 1. It says, And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, that's, it, That's not it. Give okay. me the other Leviticus 9 and 5 and 1. Leviticus 5 and 1. And if a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing, and hear the voice of swearing, and it and is a witness, whether he have whether he have uh, whether he have seen or known of it, it it what he have seen or known of it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. So what does that mean? That means if you see somebody committing a, a sin, a, a crime, so you can understand, right. you're supposed to be a witness against him. Right. You know? Speak up. You're supposed to speak up. Not that's, stay why, some. that's why the, the scripture that I just went to was, uh, uh, was that Leviticus 23? Was it? Exodus 23. Exodus 23. I still Exodus got it. 23. As opposed to Leviticus uh, 5 and 1. So now let's go to Exodus uh, 23 and 13. Okay, Exodus 23 and 13. Because I'm not going to go to no Israelite church. I find out I'm an Israelite. And then they're saying, well, we're going to say the Most High and Christ bless right. or Jesus. I said, but then they're going to tell you, you got to have a, get a Hebrew name because your name is Tom. And that's a cool name. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do I said, well, wait a minute. There's, you're talking out of both sides of your mouth. You're being the damn hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You're saying that the name that I got, and what if a guy comes, like a lot of Ephraimites are named Jesus. I don't know what the school would, but Ephraimites are called Jesus. Yep. So what if a guy comes to the school and says, my name is Jesus? Are you going to tell him that you got a cool name? Because <laughs> that, because you call on it Jesus yep. and say you don't know his name. Exodus 23 and 13. And this is the law. It says, there's a law right here. Yep. You're supposed to be experts on the law. It says, and in all things that I have said unto you, 
Be circumspect. Which means look all around. And make no mention of the name of other gods. So is Christ a mention the name of another god? Yes, it is. And the brother that came up, we said, what's your name? He gave us one name, and I said, give me another name. He said, Christopher. I said, well, that's uh, Christ, uh, which means uh, anointed. So your name would be uh, Mash uh, Mashayah. Anointed. Yeah. Which is anointed. Because you could call yourself Mashayah. Right. right. Because it just means anointed. Because right. you are anointed. We are all ma Mashaya. Right. I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Heavenly Father standeth pure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are His. And it's all about what? The elect. Okay? And let everyone that nameth the name of the Hellishai depart from iniquity. So you're supposed to learn, you're supposed to know the name, the name of the only begotten son. Uh, Proverbs 30. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell? So the name is very important. That's the first thing the Heavenly Father gave Moses. Moses said, you're going to send it to these people, they're going to ask, what is your name? What did the Heavenly Father give the name? Moses. No, the Heavenly Father told Moses his name. So you have this congregation now, you see what name are you teaching them? You're teaching them, what, what, how's your salutation go? Most high and God Christ bless. Most high and, yep, something like right? that. Right? Yep. Something like that. Well, that just doesn't apply to y'all. It applies to uh, GOCC and any other kids. Yeah, but right. well, we just happen to spotlight you. You got some groups that say they'll open up with your how or your how shot, then they'll say Christ this and Christ that. Right. You're supposed to always, you're supposed to qualify. Right. Say your how whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right. In the, in the Our Father prayer, Yahweh Shai taught us, what did he say? When he was praying to his father, he said, this is how you pray. Then he proceeded to say, hallowed be thy name, our Father who yeah, art in heaven. God is not a hallowed name. That's a German word. Exactly. Yeah, the, uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So how are you going to, hallow means to praise. So how are you going to praise his name if you if you don't know it, or if you know it and you, you're being deceptive? Come on, man. You, you guys are playing games. And that's why we and say... Then, and then, uh, then on the other side of your mouth, you're saying that you're prophets. Right. Well, this Most High gave his secrets unto his servant, the prophets. Right. Oh, he gave you everything except his name? Moses, the first thing Moses uh, asked for, well, what is your name? That, that, that when I go among the people, and they ask who, who uh, you, you know, your name is, I'm going to give them the name. And what did he do? He gave his name. Right, the scripture. Uh, what about this scripture? John, the book of John 17 and 6. This, this is a prayer that Yahweh Shai made to his father, Yahweh. John 17 and 6. I'll start the fifth verse. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now, wait a minute. If the son is the father, how is he going to ask the father to glorify? <laughs> yeah, right. That don't make no damn sense. Man, you, that's why we call you wacky tacky Christians, all right? You believe that this amount of many... Uh, nonsense that you believe you believe that the son is the father you err not knowing the scriptures john 17 and 5 and now O father who is yahweh shai speaking to he's speaking to the most high himself his father yahweh and now O father glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which i had with thee before the world was now here's the point i have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world what were, who were those men? They were the disciples which became apostles. It started with them. Okay? I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So he's making reference to the disciples which became apostles. What did he do? He uh -huh. manifested the Father's name unto them. He told them of the Father's name. I have a priest. He kept them in his name. Yep. So we gotta know the name. Yep, gotta know the name. I have if a priest. If you claim that you're a prophet, most I gave his secrets unto the servants of prophets. Uh this is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 15. Started 12. 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that's not Jesus, because even if you go to the uh, blue letter, 
Right. The, the blue light will tell you that the Jesus name. If you go to Google, you say, what's, what's Jesus? Well, go to Google and put in, uh, what's Jesus' real name? And there's a little thing called the letter J, which didn't come about what's in, what, 1524? real name? By John Tresina. So our Lord existed way before 1524. So how the hell could his name be Jesus? Okay, I yeah. put in Google what what's Jesus' real name, and this came up. It says G Jesus's name in Hebrew was Joshua, which so trans. They, got, they, they're close, but they're off. Yeah. They said Joshua. 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 Yeah. Well, there's no J. Right. So when you do some research, you realize that J came about. You just mentioned I'm sorry. it. I'm Yeah. Tresino, 1524. Yeshua. Well, okay, why? so that's Yeshua. So they're a little okay. closer than... Okay, yes, Yeshua. They're right. They're right. But they're not pronouncing it the right way. Right. right. So when the church says Jesus, that's not his name. Right. right. And at the same time, they'll say Jesus this and Jesus that. And then they'll say hallelujah. And they just mention the Mosiah's name, not realizing that they realize mentioned it. the first part of Mosiah's <laughs> name. Yeah. Right. So you, you, you made a big mistake going to them churches. You would have been better off going to the damn cemetery and trying to wake them up. At least them niggas in the cemetery won't want to pull no knives on your ass right. and take right. no shoes off and bop, bop, bop you over your head. the head. That's right. That shit was an embarrassment, man. That's right. I already knew, brother. I already knew you wasted your time going to them goddamn churches. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Check this out. Yeah, this the, is in the letter. Uh, I'm sorry, brother. No. Uh, in the letter, the apostle Paul wrote to Timothy. He told Timothy to commit this knowledge unto faithful men, which shall be able to teach each others also. also. Yeah, don't just give it to any nigga out here. There you go. Now you know goddamn well the, the morons in the so-called churches, they're not faithful. They're only faithful to one thing, Friday night fish fry. <laughs> and the women, the young women, yeah. and money. Money, yeah. And power. First of all, they ain't gonna say I'm an Israelite because they're gonna have to give their congregation up to you. And they're gonna lose money. You won't get in the back. You ain't giving up your seat. Are you crazy? Furthermore, the Forget Lord. Forget about them niggas. Them niggas ain't in them churches because the mo that's a stumbling block. The church is a stumbling block, man. Where so they supposed to be in there. Yeah. Wait a minute. The prophet Jeremiah talked about your churches. He, he, the Lord was speaking through the prophet Jeremiah. He called them what? The assembled as troops mm. in what? The harlot houses. And everyone named after a neighbor's wife. Mm. That's what you get. They, they show you that in the movies, the black exploitation movies. The, the movie Which Way Is Go, Which Way Is Up, Which Way Is Up, with Richard Pryor. Now you notice, right? Every one of those so-called black exploitation movies, they all had a church scene in that movie. Because the so-called church, that's fodder for for uh, comedy, right? You want to really make someone laugh, you always have a church scene. Even in oh the yeah, the, the church, the church scene, like that, like, like if they're sitting down, these Edomites are gonna make a black, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, sitcom, and all they gotta do is mention, let's make another church sitcom. They'll say, oh, I'm with that. You can think of all kind of jokes with the church, because the church, the black church, I'm not saying the white church, I'm saying the black church, because the black church is the biggest joke in all. Yeah. Any of them, every, any and all of them, man. There was a church scene in the movie uh, The Blues Brothers, which was basically a comedy. There was a church scene, and guess who Guess who the pastor was? James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> James Brown was the pastor. And uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, John Belushi saw the light. Because James Brown looked at him and said, Do you see the light? And then he said, Yes, God damn it, I see the light. And then he did the million and one backflips, <laughs> and he started dancing. He started dancing. Come on, man. They tell you right there, the church is a joke. With Dan Aykroyd got to be a jake. Yeah. He's just like a weird jake. Yep. Because he did have yep. rhythm. He had no, that he weird, he had that that weird dance, yeah, but yeah, he had yeah, the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then John uh, yeah, yeah. Belushi had the rhythm too. Belushi yeah, yeah. had the, well, he's Albanian. Yeah, well, he's so Albanian. Yeah. Albanian. Albanian, yeah. yeah. He's Albanian. And guess who was uh, in the he's choir? He's Albanian, yo. Guess who was in the choir? Fine as hell, too. <clears throat> Chaka Khan. Oh, I know that. Because, uh, oh, the brother, um, brother uh, from Malcolm, from uh, uh, GMS, uh, Chicago, he said uh, where they filmed that, that church is still there. He said they, they filmed it around where he used to live, something like that, he said. Yeah, and Shaka Khan is from Chicago. And Shaka mm -hmm. from Chicago. So what's the point? The point is, all these movies, they always bring in the church because that's like fodder for a comedy. Right, 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 right. The church is a joke.
joke, man. That shows you right there. The Lord is not dealing. You think the serious man of the Lord is a joke? Right. You think the assembly that Yahweh had with his disciples, which became apostles, you think that was a joke? That wasn't a joke. But your churches are a joke. Because the Lord's not dealing with your churches, man. And you're easy. If we, if we sit down to any, any of you black, black in the church system, mm -hmm. you regular blacks that have churches, pastors, and ministers, and so forth, you don't know the scriptures, man. If you go to any any prophetic scripture, yep. and you'll be you'll be dumbfounded. Yep. All they know is Jesus is love. Yep. You know, they, well, they, they know some <laughs> scriptures, but they but they they'll quote like David, the stories of David, and but then they, but then they won't they won't tell you that you're the Israelites. And you you are these same people. Yep. And uh, I think this scripture applies. This is what the Apostle Paul said. This is the book of Romans 10 and 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Heavenly Father for Israel. And one of the main things they don't know in those churches is that they're the Israelites. Right. Because in the book of Isaiah 1 and 3, it says, The ox knoweth his owner, the ass his master's crib. But Israel does but not Israel know. But Israel does not know. What does that mean? Right. Meaning you in the churches, you don't even know your true nationality. Yeah. That you're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Yep. You speak of the Israelites not knowing you are those people. It says neither do they consider. That's one thing that the pastor you know? is not telling them. Exactly. Because he was paid off. He was paid off. Mm -hmm. And how do we know he was paid off? Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Now one church is going to tell the congregation that you are the Israelites. Right. That's right. But they'll be out of business. They'll be out of business. Second church, like TD Jakes. Well, uh, wait, well, wait a minute. Your your so-called leader came out indirectly and told you you, you, you was a uh, Israelite, Martin Luther King. He said he said what was that speech? He said I look over the mountain top. Uh, I look over and I saw the promised land. I know I know I won't get to the mountain top. However, he said it indirectly. He was saying to and who was he speaking to? So-called black people. Indirectly, he was telling them, look, you're the Israelites. Because Martin Luther King knew that you were the Israelites. And they killed him over that shit. And they he, killed him, yeah. he had a conscience. You know how we know? Even Malcolm X was cool with him. Yep. After he met him, he didn't like him at first, and then they were mm. cool. Mm. Yep. And his, and his uh, he started coming more on a, he started coming closer to Malcolm yep. and being more uh, rebellious mm. against mm. the system. Malcolm he X He was knew. doing things against the system. Huh? That's right. right. He came against the hand that fed him. Malcolm X knew because Malcolm X made a speech. He said, uh, you're the valley of the dry bones. Right. You're the lost. Now, what a lot of you people don't know is Malcolm X used to be head of temple number seven. And Malcolm X actually knew Rabbi Abba Bivens. Mm. Them two actually Well, he spoke. knew, well, that, that, uh, Ariad knew him. Ariad used to talk to him. Yagbab used to talk to him. Abba used to talk to him. Uh, like I said, Yagbab. Just like when we used to see Khalid Muhammad, he used to come to the school. Yeah. He used to ask for, he asked for three people. He asked for High Priest Arya, High Priest Yashai, or Taha, High Priest Taha. Right. So if I was here, he would say, yeah, brother, I'm getting ready to do this debate. Right. Give me some books. Right. He would have a notebook, and he'd write it down. Mm -hmm. He'd come in this black uh, Excalibur. And the brother, he, he even started coming to classes. Mm -hmm. there you go. I got a video, but I can't find a video where he was actually in the class. He wouldn't go, he would you know, he would sneak over that. Like if they saw him going, so what? He was ahead of, of that of that particular mosque. Right. But he used to come to the so when the class, he used to ask to come to the class and learn. And he would sit down and learn, man. Yeah. Khalid Muhammad. Facts. Yeah. I got a precept. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Micah three and one, and I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel. Yeah, the heads of Jacob is just that. The heads, the leadership. The Lord always had a, a beef against the leadership of Israel. Whenever they misled the, 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 you know, the nation to worship the gods of the other nations, you know, here it is. There were some kings of Israel that they'll conquer certain uh, nations and then go ahead and worship their gods. Uh, yeah, who like was that king? Amaziah. Amaziah yeah, and he destroyed the Edomites. And then he worshiped uh, uh, gods. Yeah, he worshiped, worshiped <laughs> gods. I forgot what your brothers call him, uh, that, that singer. Oh, Barry Manilow. Yeah, he looked just like Barry Manilow. Yeah, he, worked, he started worshiping Barry Manilow, man. You know, and that's stupid. That's So that's what's happening with Israel today. Here it is, certain Israelites, they woke up to the fact they're Israel. They learned the truth. Certain leaders, right, of Israel, they learned the truth. They know the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They knew the salute. And we think they got paid off. And you see these guys. And shit. Just like Nick. They're talking Oh, yeah, all day. All day long. Hands all moving. 
But then, but they ain't Israelite. Yeah. A wild book. Oh, what was that scripture? A wild, like a wild book. Yeah. Well, that's these crazy niggas yeah. ransacking stores and shit. Yeah. Oh, the most are gonna get rid of y'all. Oh, yeah. 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 Ethnic cleansing. He's gonna get rid of y'all, man. He's gonna, he gonna, yeah. he gonna, he gonna, what do you call that? Uh, what do you call that? Thin out the herd. Yeah, oh, definitely. He's only gonna get the other oh, yeah. Call it. The rest of you niggas, he ain't bringing you in the wilderness like he did in the past. Wait a minute. Yahweh Shai himself said, when he comes, he's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of killing. Right. right. What's the prophecy say in Isaiah 66, 15? Huh. And the slain of the Lord shall, shall be, be many. many. Right. As many of these people, Yahweh right. Shai himself gonna kill. Yeah. So there have to be an ethnic cleansing because a lot of you Israelites, like it says in what? Jeremiah 5 and 23, you have revolted and gone. Right. You're rebellious and you, you have just, revolted and gone. Right. Yeah, you're just gone. The whole head is sick. You're beyond Isaiah? saving. Yeah, you're beyond yeah. saving. You just got to die and come back in the regeneration. The most, the, most, the Lord, the how about you now, Shai, told Ezekiel to go to these people and I'm going to tell you beforehand they won't listen to you because they ain't listening to me. Right, right. So, you know, the reason why these these these, these gremlins are able to run around and do the wickedness that they do is because the Most High fulfilling prophecy. Everything he does before he fulfills one prophecy, he got to fulfill the, first, the prophecy before that. Right. Prophecies come in order. Right. The flood ain't gonna pay and come because the flood already came. Yeah. This time the fire is gonna come. So the destruction. Back on the Quran, man. That's why we've been doing a lot of uh, uh, videos on the Quran man, right. over and over again. We may sound like broken records, but that's going to be a major shake up for all you different groups out there. Right. And we ain't going to, 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 if you can't get it, we moving on. That's we're it. moving on. We got more important things. That's to that, that shit been settled back in 20. Yeah. 2013. Like, well, Apostle Hall, like you said, he said, look, that ain't the, that ain't the fucking shit you're supposed to be talking about. We're supposed to be talking about the MOTB, you know? Well, give me, give me uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, 30, I think it's 39 and 1. Quick precept for you. Uh, Matthew 5, Matthew 5 and, uh, and uh, uh, 18. This is the words of Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> for verily I say unto you, verily means truly, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled, meaning what? The prophecy. So all the, like Pastor was going into prophecies, all the prophecies got to be fulfilled, every yeah. last one of them. Because if, if, guess what? If, if any prophecy is not fulfilled, that would make the Heavenly Father lie. And the scripture- That would make the Heavenly Father not exist. Right. And he's not capable of lying. Matter of fact, we get to the, uh, That's how important prophecy is, people. Now you notice, right, the Spirit, the beginning of all the past time down, the Spirit been on us heavy to go into prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Because that's what it's all about, prophecy. Because you got to understand, not one prophecy is going to uh, uh, fail. All the prophecies must be fulfilled. So, Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah, what is that? Isaiah 34, you going to? No, I was going to 55. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go to 34. No, 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 good. Isaiah 55, then go to Isaiah 34. Okay. Isaiah 34 and 16. Isaiah 55 and 11, I'll read that first. It says, now, these are, now this is the Heavenly Father. Yep, the Heavenly Father speaking through the prophet Isaiah. This ain't our words. This is his words. It says, Isaiah 55 and 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, meaning what? Empty. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Which is the prophecy. In other words, the Most High said it, and it's going to be done in its time. Another precept that just came to mind, but it just left me. Ah, oh, damn. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it'll come back. Oh, oh. Second Peter 1, verse 16, on down. Got something? Yep. Second Peter chapter 1. You got a lot of these guys that's popping up. After we came on YouTube, now you got all these guys. They just popped up with different candidates. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's still, he's still doing yeah, yeah, his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still, he's doing yeah, his thing. Yeah, just let me come up here for a little while. Hey, some of the brothers are here. Yeah, Connecticut is down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the, some of the brothers, that's what we got here. The brothers at the work, yeah, no, yeah, transportation, on, know, traffic. Singing to the choir. You know how that goes, man. Yeah, we, 
I don't know miss this place at all. You don't uh, come to the crib. Come, 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 of course. Right, right. Right. I know you don't. Yeah, yeah, good all right, man. I don't miss this fucking place at all. Hey, hey, brother. Apostle Brown, I was doing all right, though. Well, that's all right. I spoke to him the other day. The other day. I love him in good hands, man. Did he tell you about a monotonous? Yeah, I told you that. Yeah, no, no, I was there. I basically, I basically said, listen, they're going to have to check. Cut. And this guy, one guy, look at what you got to do. Well, I'm going to talk to somebody. Yes, yeah, okay, no, no. Tonight? Yeah, I'm going to talk to somebody. I spoke to both of them that very night. Okay, okay. I'm going to let you in on that. Okay, okay. Tonight we got a lot of talk. Cut, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. For we... Oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Right. So let, let, uh, let, you, let it be known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the Shalom. Yeah, one of the, uh, the apostles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah live. See what's going on in the lab. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. We got uh... a. I was a little surprised by how the couple. I mean, I'm no, no, I already know. I already know. Yeah, Shalom, Makim, Shalom, Yahweh, Basha, Good, good. Uh, let's see what we got. This is your soul name. Good, 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 exactly. Good, good, exactly. Good. Uh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was another version too. Another version. 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 Oh, there you go. That worked out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. See how the spirit works? That's it. Hey, we family. I think with Phoebe's stuff. Phoebe's stuff. Okay. She did something about home. I remember from the poetry man. Ooh, yeah. You talk about Phoebe. I think she did. I think she. I think she did home. Or somebody that sounded like Phoebe's stuff. Yeah, so there's a couple of Akim here um, putting scriptures and How many people are watching? We got 216. Ooh, 216? Yep. Okay. That's a good thing. 96 good number, thumbs man. up. We know, we know, we know y'all are, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here to be edified. Yeah, God, God. Yeah, we got uh, GMS Kabar Dama. He put uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 14. But continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them uh, another brother gms shine the gospel shalom elder apostle rakan uh the don israel what's the elder new youtube name I guess he asking for your new youtube okay, name yeah, apostle yeah, yeah, yeah gms push on uh yeah gms yeah my new page hey mm -hmm. someone who knows put the link some, some a brother who knows put the link up for the brother I got him, man. Okay. Him the right Apostle Rakaz, new, new yeah, page. I got, I got you going. Yeah, so this GMS is, this push is, this on like a push harder. Telephone, telephone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got, I got him going. Uh, I got a brother by going under the handle of Goldfinger, Shalom, Elder Apostle. Yeah, GMS keep pushing on. GMS, GMS keep, keep pushing on. That's GMS keep page. pushing on. Yeah. Somebody go to his page and put the link up. Yeah, yeah. You click, you click on the link. On. You click on the link and um, yeah. you can go right to the page. You put yeah. in your, you know, subscribe yeah. to it. Subscribe to it. Hey, the water to See, the brothers Esau, too. See, Esau, you done fucked up, man. You should have never gave us. This is a big thing that <laughs> yeah, you made. Yeah, you messed up, boy. Yeah. yeah. You fucked up. You should have never gave us no use to this. Yeah. Well, uh, David Rock. No, not David. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock. Yeah. said the internet should have never been yeah. yeah. there. Yeah, because you cut our pages, man. They cut like all my pages, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another you, you fucking got, page. Do you have a, uh, you have an Odyssey page? No, no. Get an Odyssey page and get a Rumble page. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wrap this up. So you go, you getting back with uh, the Ryan Bob, right? Cut. Back, tell him to hook you up. Bro. I have done it. Hook you up, man. Cut. But you cut the page. All we gonna do is put Look, another fucking. On yeah. the Rumble page, the Rumble page, and the um, what is this here? Odyssey and the rubble page. Cut. The shit that you put on YouTube that they take down, they ain't gonna take down. Oh, okay. You can put all kind of controversy. Okay, okay, all okay. All kind of shit on YouTube. I gotta deal with that. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, not too many people watch it. Everybody's in used to uh, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube yeah. you know? Yeah, YouTube has been played out. Yeah, you devils, man. Yeah, man. Y'all through, man. Yep. Well, either way, another yep. thing you can do with the YouTube, you can do a like commercial. 
say I'm gonna do this controversial video, but uh, if I put it on YouTube, they're gonna take it down. Yeah. But you can go to uh, the Odyssey page and watch the video in, in full. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Get nice with it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, the Odyssey. I know you talked the about Odyssey, last Odyssey. time I was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Odyssey. yeah. All the videos I got on my Odyssey page, brother. I, they wouldn't last two seconds on YouTube. Oh, boy, right. yeah, YouTube, YouTube take that take shit I go, down. I go yeah. in, brother. That's right. Yeah. You know? That's right. Well, the yeah. trip's gone here today, brother. Let me not talk no, about it. No, he didn't come. He hasn't been here. We've been oh, here yeah. for a month. <laughs> I wish I wish the nigga would come out. Yeah. Well, right out of school. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, what, a few weeks back, a month ago? He was yeah, about a month. Yeah, yeah, about a month. He was jamming month, out, month. boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for like two minutes. He lost steam. He, he never had no steam with the game. <laughs> what you mean he lost steam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it, brother. All right, Second Peter's one and sixteen. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Well, wait a minute, plantation Christianity. That's what they use. Cunningly devised fables like hell. Yep. That's a cunningly devised fable. The way they teach hell. Right. What up? There's other examples yep. of their cunningly, cunningly devised fables. Go ahead. Lake of Fire is eternal yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. IUIC teaches that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're teaching that. IUIC is teaching that uh, you can burn in hell forever. Yeah. That Israelites are going to burn in hell forever. They teach them that if you pop a woman and you ain't legally married to her according to the state, you're committing a fornication. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. So yeah. basically, you guys are Jehovah's Witnesses. That's the shit I learned growing up from my mother. I well, then, fornication. You yeah, 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 yeah. girls. Yeah. Fornication. The word nose, fornication, yeah, yeah, the word fornication means, uh, translates into the word fornia, yeah, yeah. which means adultery. Right. Yeah, it's the same thing, basically. It's the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Hey, uh, Elder Pastor, so, did a video. Uh, the, the video was entitled, Learn the Etymology of Words. That's what generates your ignorance. A lot of you uh, people out there, you know, those of you in the wacky tacky churches, and some of you Israelites, yeah. your ignorance comes from not knowing the meaning of words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn the etymology of words. Ooh. Etymology, um, etymology, etym, when you break up the word etym is Greek, which means truth. Ology means study. Put it together study of truth in words. No, 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 I just yeah. wanna, I just wanna add, it. I just wanna add into what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, of course, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, through Apostle Taha, yourself, years ago, 20 years ago, uh, through the spirit of the Lord, fuck you guys if you got a problem with it. Uh, uh, we were the ones that that, that the Lord used to go into that. Yeah. You have to monitor, uh, and it was monitor. us. Yep. And then yep. you got, see man, you guys talk shit about us, but you niggas, a lot of y'all niggas fight our style. Oh, absolutely. And you take it, and then I, yeah, yeah, and whatever, they act like they come up with All them guys, all yeah. the different groups, they all go to blue letter. Where you think they got it from? Cunt. There you go. I got it from myself. Cunt. 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 Yeah. That's right. Let's go to the blue letter. Blue That's blue. right. Yeah. That's true. Because the videos, when you can go up, the videos, I'm still, all the, so I, I, I be watching videos. Sometimes you go on YouTube, I go watch all the videos. And sometimes mm -hmm. old videos, lately, I guess other brothers will catch the videos and, well, our old 34th shit. Right, right. Our old 34th Street videos. Right, right. They up there fucking 15, 15, 16 years ago. Yeah, man. So you could look at the videos and the videos we did. Uh, 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 the blue letter. That's the etymology of the word. So yeah, the proof is out yep, there. Yep, 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 yep. But then you guys studied uh, that nigga, uh, uh, Captain Crunch. Right, right. Right? He's, he was fighting our style on the low. Right. Well, he had that loyalty to General Yohanna. He you came know? up underneath GMS. Yeah, at first. Yeah, and then mm. he, he right. branched off and went to his own. And even that, that, that even, even that the Joker. Yeah, you got to defend it. <laughs> that old Yohanna boss man. Even that Joker, Volcan Malone. You know what I'm saying? That Joker. He he be going. Yeah. In the, and, and I watch some of his videos, but I only I could watch Volcan for like maybe 15 minutes, and I got to turn it off. I can't watch him for too long. Yeah. I watched Volcan well, for like 15 well, minutes. He, he came. He came on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he starts. Volcan was starstruck. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, serious. I was watching the Indiana yeah, game man. yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday, in, brother. Yeah, I was putting, uh, putting, uh, putting, uh, little scriptures and sayings in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, now this guy said, uh, Volcan came on and said, uh, 
Pastor Ron Bob was out in Indiana. Yep. When I came back and said, yeah, he's been out there for the last month. I said, where, where, where you been? been? I said, where you been? That's exactly what you're going watching us. Yeah, no, he was on the comic book. That's but then he never replied to a pastor. I was waiting for him. I was waiting for the reply. Yeah, man. So like pastor said, he's starstruck. Yeah. He's starstruck, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He got, he got weak in the knees when he saw Rocky. Yeah, the apostle of Brown, I was in Indiana. He got weak in the knees when he saw Rocky. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was looking like uh, Martin Luther King. Remember when Martin Luther King was doing the marches? Yeah. Martin Luther King was all nervous when they were yeah, he was nervous. <laughs> he was flanked, he was all nervous. That's yeah. how vocab looked when he came up to our camp uh, uh, yeah, a few years ago. He was all nervous and shit. Then yeah, he, well, came, well, he came with a gang, like we were going to jump and attack yeah, well, We well, spurred your men, man. We peeped that out. We spurred your men. He made sure he had Shaman. Yeah. He had Shaman, that dude. That dude fuck out. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Out. yeah. Hey, well, okay, man. Bruce Lee. Well, I knew he was out in Texas a little while ago. I'm, in, yeah. I'm out in Dallas, so come see me in Dallas. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. Second Peter 116. <laughs> We're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. GMS yeah, has right. gone global. Yeah, right. man. Take my man. Second Peter 116. It says, "For we have not followed cunningly devised fables." Right. When we made known unto you the power. What does it mean by a cunningly defined fable? When they pushed the hell doctrine, right, they right. had to come with a, a backstory on it. Yeah. You know? They told you why they push it. The black folks of Rome, why they, when you go back to history, they push it to scare the people. Scare the people. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a cunningly defined fable. Well, the Roman. So, the Roman. The Roman. The Roman emperors. Spike me in Do you know that the Roman emperors taught that? They taught that as well. Oh, I know that. The Roman emperors said, if you say anything against what the Roman emperor that's sitting on the throne, if you say anything against him, you can go to hell. You can burn in hell. Mm, look at that. Yep. It says, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Hamashiach. Yeah, man, we, we're coming in sincerity and truth. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man, because at the end of the day, you can't fool the Heavenly Father, nor his only begotten Son. That's it. So you might as well be sincere and truthful about it. A lot of you other Israelite groups, man, you, you come in with them gimmicks and shit. You come in like, you ever watch, the, they call that in the islands, crab walking. You ever watch a crab walk? Sideways. You walk sideways. sideways. Yeah, yeah. That's how you you come inside. Yeah, yeah. You walk in sideways. Yeah, man. You crabs. Got, well, remember the old saying, crabs in the barrel? Yeah. The scriptures say, make straight what? Make straight paths for your feet, man. Mm, mm. You got to come straight, man. How wish I came straight? Yeah. Apostle Paul came straight. Enter you in at the straight gate. Come. Enter you in at the straight gate. Well, why, why does the way is talking about them gimmicks? Yeah, with them stupid gimmicks. Yeah. Like, uh, what was that? Yeah. Yesterday, or was it this morning? No, this morning. I saw a video. Well, we gotta get on the IUIC again. Oh, the house, the, the house of something getting married, and then it was like a 35-second video, and they, they had them. They were rapping. They had the marriage going on, and and, and one guy was rapping, and then uh, what else? Uh, uh, they, they, uh, the guy said, "You may kiss the bride." I'm like, "Wait a minute, where's that in the scriptures?" That was the vow. Uh, I pronounce you man and wife. You make. <laughs> I'm looking at this shit. I'm saying, "What the fuck is this shit?" Right. Furthermore. The Apostle Paul said, the, the, uh, they that be as they wives. They the women that you can get with. They approve yeah, of it, yeah, right? They, they did that in right. Islam. Right. Look, I thought, if I go into a school in uh, Israel, fellas, and when I first went to World West, there was chicks that I was dealing with. And then, hey, brother, the, the heads were kind of bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this chick, and I wanted to get the bed. Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah, yeah. man, I was walking at home. You know, I was doing the thing, and you should have had a damn tell a fucking Binoculars, <laughs> they were watching me. Yeah. I was walking and shit. She said they're looking at you with binoculars. I turned back to shine. Yeah, oh, oh shit, boy. that's crazy. Oh, boy. You was hating. Yeah, I was all trying to get this chick. I was all trying to get this chick. I don't want to get man. Nah, hey, and and I, I, I wish, like I wish a nigga would tell me, look, brother, you gotta come before the council. For real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Council, yeah for real. I come, yeah. I come for who? I come for my whole council. To this day. That's right. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what I can do with a woman. Oh, if I got feelings with a woman, that's right. and a woman got feelings for me, that's it. That's it's your business. Over. It's yeah. over, man. You can't yeah. tell me a damn thing unless you're dealing with that woman. 
That's if you right. ain't dealing with that woman, you ain't got a damn thing to say, man. That's right. I wish a nigga would bring me to counseling for dealing with a fucking woman not getting her approval. Like, for real, me, for real, for real. Hey, well, got me started now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, brother. Well, the bus was the hard. Remember niggas from the West was adult. Yeah, it was when they broke the house. It was a holiday house. It was a holiday house. It's a holiday house. Y'all yeah. 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 remember the, the, the infamous council? Uh, yeah. You know, with, with my woman and this other nigga, Robert Jones, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dropped me to council yeah. over my woman, man. Yep. And then, but then it was really a hit motive. He yeah. tried to bury the three of us. Yep. He got buried. That nigga know what he was doing, yeah, yeah, though, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went deep with me. He, he got buried. He fucking the ball. Yeah, yeah. This brother, this brother and this brother yep. and this brother, they come to help the black Dude. demon. Which and they Lahab said the was second being black demon. wasn't right. Yeah, which Lahab was being the black demon. But then Lahab jumped up and got out of that. Hey, show him. Hey, show him. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but Lahab got out. All right, good to see you, bro. Hey, man. Stay hey, great, y'all. Right. Right. Y'all stay great. Right, right, hey, this is the hey, fucking full family. Shout out to the world, brother. Shout out to the world, brother. Shout out to the world, brother. man. Lord be with you, all. Papa Russ is out, man. Shout out to the world, brother. All right. Hey, but when that situation went down, this is a whole council. That nigga, Lahab got me quick up out of there, boy. Yeah, because he knew he wasn't right. Oh, that was in the past, bro. That was in the past. Oh, yeah. But this like they did the Shabar, but Shabar's in the spirit world now. My brother just came up against us. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing. He said the whole family is here. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, it's heavy, man. It's heavy, man. Yeah. It's a hell of a day. Yeah, That's right. Cool, man. That's true, man. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead, bro. Okay. Oh, another thing, yeah. Apostle Taha. Uh, me and the brothers were driving down. You know, we talked like you'd be talking about different things. You came out here by yourself? No, no, I can't. Me. The other times with Doc Mod, I buy and then Tazai Wan came. Well, the other brothers had to work. No, the other brothers had to work. I'm not saying how'd you get here to the New York? Oh, no, I came up. Uh, I came, them brothers came. They brought a bus around out of this car. Okay, so they so they drove up. Yeah, they drove it out there. Oh, okay, so they drove y'all back. No, we got a rental. We got a rental for oh, the brothers. Okay, okay. And then the spirit just got him as a fucking oh, coming okay. back. Okay, so I guess uh, Brian not gonna be out there. For yeah, he's gonna be out there. He's gonna pass around. I was still out of Spirit seat. got him out there. But, but he's gonna join me in Dallas. <laughs> he's gonna join me in Dallas. He, yeah. He's doing the work of the evangelist. He, yeah, he's still doing his. You know, That's his, Luke, the evangelist. His, his mm. thing, man. He's still doing his thing. <laughs> yeah, he back, he, he's in good. I left him in good hands, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, my personal bodyguard, D Mash. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. oh man. That's my personal well, you know, bodyguard. Oh, yeah, he's a, no, I told him he was a guy. Shout out to you, bro. You probably Shout out to D Mash. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Shout out to the other D Mash. The Mash. I met mean, his father and. Uh, Everybody loves you. Bro. His father and mother adopted him. His name should have been yeah, Raymond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody loves Me and D Mash are actually family now. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 2 Peter 1 and 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hamashiach. Yeah, man. We, the, the, uh, the trick is to be sincere and honest. How's it going? The parable of Yahweh, Shai, taught is this, and it goes, in sincerity and honesty brought forth much fruit. Go ahead. But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Yeah, now you know what that's talking about? The disciples. They were actually there. The disciples which became apostles. They were actual eyewitnesses of whose majesty? Yahweh Shai's majesty. Huh. Yep. They saw the miracles. They saw the miracles. Yeah, they, man. They saw Yahweh Shai uh, getting arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. They saw him crucified. They saw him crucified. Oh, yeah. And risen. And and risen. They, they yeah. were, they, they, man, they witnessed the whole... The, yep. uh, and that, and that's why their letters are so uh, powerful. Yeah. Uh, Peter's letters, John's letters, uh, uh, Peter and John, James, James was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. James was uh, Yahweh Shai's uh, 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 biological brother. Yeah. Right. 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 Now Mark wasn't there. Mark, you got the Gospel of Mark. Mark wasn't there. Okay. Mark came right. later. Okay. And Luke, Luke wasn't there. Luke came later. Yeah. yeah. Those men. Luke was the doctor. Yeah. Well, he, Luke wrote the book of Acts. Yeah. His name, his name was, uh, what's the name of the Theologian. Go to Acts 1 and 1. Okay. Uh, it gives you his name. It's, it's just like now, like you did the like, like yeah. we be telling you, like, uh, we be telling you brothers out there, you brothers from GMS, we was back in One West, we was there, like, you did a video. Eyewitnesses. 
Huh? Yep. We were all with, like, you know. So, the men that came you know, up. so you guys that came after you two, you really, you guys are really not men of the Lord, man. Mm. If you haven't come under a real camp, a lot of you guys just got it, made a sign and put got trenches on your garment yep. and went out there, man. Yep. Like Wi Fi, you know? Like yeah. The most high won't break Wi Fi up. Like yeah, they, they got a camp in Indiana. Indiana. Right around the corner from where we were speaking in Indiana, there's a Wi Fi camp. Oh, and them other guys, oh boy, I'll be watching. I seen they, Sergeant Sons of Thunder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The dude, Sons of Thunder, he's the head guy. He came up under Zabak and he broke off some Zabak. I mean, really? The both sides not dealing with him either. You guys, and We man. did videos on them too. Yeah, you guys, Sons of Thunder, motherfucker, you don't know nothing about no Sons of Thunder. Right, right. You don't know shit about no Sons. That was something before you dudes were even born. Facts. Now, real talk, I was in a, me and uh, yep. my other uh, 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 big gad, the tall yep. brother. Yep. Me and him, we're original members of the Sons, Sons of Thunder yeah. camp back in Brooklyn. Back in fucking 1990, 91, 92. It's under Yashawan. Under Yashawan, uh, Barack from HODC. You dudes, uh, Kazak was originally over the camp for a short period. Yep. You know, yep. I'm Thanks. going to write a book. Right, right. And then he still gave it. You guys still have a role. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that camp, you know, who set up that camp, Boom and Hoyce, was me and Lahab. Yeah, yeah. And then Thanks, some man. months later, Ariala, Ariala came in, it was me and Ariala. God. And Barack, we built that camp up. God, God. When we gave the camp, we donated the camp to Barack. God. Joshua kind of finessed it. Yeah, know? rose up in there. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So we were here from the beginning, before, long before you two. So it's heavy. So pretty much, I'm the fruit of Apostle Taha anyway. Because that's the camp. Because remember, I came up from Florida. I was living but, in uh, Brooklyn. You was, in, you was in my camp. So I was in there, yeah, yeah, and then a few, well, well, well when I'm I, the granddaddy of the kids. First, that's right. That's right. So when I first, well, I went back into the world. Facts. So when I first joined the camp back in 1990, when I first joined the camp, little young dude, I was in the back holding balls and I was possible to hard. Used to, which I know you remember, used to always come to the camp, you know, pop up certain Saturdays. And I, I always tell this story, like, you know, in the camp, and you know, I was a little young dude, new in the camp. Uh, I was holding poles in the back with certain other brothers. And uh, he, uh, I was always thinking about the was Issachar. He looked like an Issachar right anyway. Yep, but Issachar. either way, them ponchos. Hey, brother, I'm, I'm Issachar. I'm Issachar, brother. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with something, brother. What did you Paul said? I became all things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm Issachar. Yeah, that's I'm it. Hey, but man, you are the tribe. I could be a Gadite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Reubenite yeah, yeah. right about now. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, hey, but back then. Until the spirit took yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like like Sean, like, like Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but, but back then, the, right. the apostle used to wear them bad ponchos. Yeah, yeah, ponchos. Yeah, ponchos. Yeah, ponchos. Yeah, I had one, I had one poncho I got from Mexico in 87. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and this chick that I was still with, fine chick from Brooklyn, she yeah. wanted, I wanted it. I wanted it. I said, you can't. And then she said, we can't. I said, well, we can go out something. I'm not giving this up. I'm not giving this up. Especially to a fucking woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, my spirit's on this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an authentic poncho, what they really call Serapin, in Mexico. Cut. I think I paid $10 for $10. Damn, and yeah, you get it cheap in Mexico. He's with the poncho oh, with, with the armbands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah, he yeah. came in the back, and he, like, he, you know, we knew the top men talk. But he came in the back and salute, saluted us. And we was like, damn, why, why is he saluting up, you know? It was heavy. I never forgot that. You know what I mean? You know, Paul Starr didn't put on airs. Now, yeah, the yeah, other guys, yeah. they put on airs. They put on airs, like, Especially Yashawan. Yeah. Like, Look, brother, you got to know how to salute me. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. Then he would boast about how he's Paul. he throw his hat around in the room. Oh, he's shy. Yeah, he's shy. Yeah. Yeah, Just shy. so you know, I'm Paul. Yeah, uh, Paul yeah. would never say yeah. that he's Paul. Paul would never say he was Paul. Paul said, be not concerned with his genealogies, which do not strike. That's a cold cut. How do you, how does he, you couldn't prove that. How can you prove that? Yeah, I'm Paul. How can you prove that? But well, then when the split came and Mo left, all of a sudden the split came and him tapped him on the shoulder and said, I'm Peter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Peter. Well, yeah. nigga, last week you were Paul. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck you want to be? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You know, good. 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 Okay, that's a cat. A cat, you ain't. Candy boy. Yeah, candy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Paul. Peter yeah. Paul and Paul. Oh, that group, Peter Paul and Mary. Yeah, yeah, Mary. Yeah, yeah. I remember that group in the yeah, 60s. Yeah, 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 in the 60s. Peter Paul and Mary. Yeah. You got it, brother. Okay. I yeah. says, um, See, first. See, got us going down memory lane. You don't like it, you can log off. That's yeah, it. just leave. Just leave. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Second Peter's 
One and seventeen. We got a lot of history. These, us three been here. We, we got a lot of history come, in this come, thing, come, man. Come, man. You look bust up approaching forty years in this thing. Yeah, yeah man. Okay, that's so right. right. There you go. Go ahead, bro. For uh, Second Peter's one and seventeen, for he received. God, 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 dapping each other. You tell me they ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They dapping each other yeah, like Jets, like, but they just hey, speak hey, Spanish, man. Hey, hey, they salute yeah, 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 they they doing this shit. They're they're doing the same. One guy shook the one guy. Then he went like this again. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's jank shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go to down in Mexico. You know the brother handshake. It's a card throw that shit, man. Oh yeah, they ain't jank. They'll see each other too. It's a Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that, all that gang stuff, shit they yeah, got yeah. there from Instagram. Oh, well, Gag, but they ain't you know, Gag, Ruben, we do the same thing. Uh, we go to the power. Right. Yeah, 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 you know, we, do, uh, we salute the same way, right, man. But they ain't Jake's though. Yeah. They they ain't Jake. certain Israelite. Yeah, yeah you knuckleheads. Which we will not own. Last time I mentioned. Dopey. Yeah, dopey folk. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? You, you're like the vagabond Jews. But you know what? It's only a matter of time that demons suss you out. Because the demons <laughs> suss out the vagabond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demons will yeah. see who's real. Yeah, that takes that chip. That's yeah. right. We're going right. to look on it. We're going to look on the faces of you motherfuckers that got to explain yourself to your that's congregation. Right. That's right. Them I can't wax. wait for that day to come, man. The direct, hey, them demons said, uh, all I know. Yep. How was I know? But who the fuck are you? Yep. The demon, and look, the demons know me. <laughs> I believe oh, it. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it. The demons. Yeah. 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 You better believe it, man. They know me. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I, I see it. I sleep in, the, in my bed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, then I got that exercise thing. Yeah. And I got something I'm going to have a cold on it. Yeah. And every time I open my eyes, it'll always be a person here, man. Sometimes yep, my grandmother yep. playing. Yeah, I, I saw my change, mother. Hey, I saw my mother. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you be seeing yeah, a brother standing there looking yeah. at you and shit. Wow, wow. And yeah. sometimes you see a mother brother, in a cloak looking. Then when you look, he goes like this. Yeah. So come on, man. Them demons oh, yeah. know me, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why we're always getting uh, chastised by them. Oh, yeah. We always yep. do. Yep. Yeah. A lot of you Israelites, you ain't getting the, the demons ain't messing with you. Like a hammer. Well, the demons are with you. They're helping you. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're coming against us. The demons right. are trying to But when you rebuke them demons, they get off. Yeah, they get off. When you rebuke them demons, they get off. They run. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys don't go through that. You, know, uh, you guys don't go through that's that. That's why they talk so much shit. Yeah. Because if you were really going, if you were really being chastised, you wouldn't have enough energy to talk shit. No. You be too busy praying to the Lord. Yeah, hey, man, it, through the shaking, spirit. Shaking, trembling. Like we always say, man, I always mention Psalms 51. I tell, I always tell the brothers, you know, you great Matter of fact, let's read that. Okay. Keep oh, speaking I, on it and read it. Psalm beautiful. 51. Psalms 51. Psalm 51. Remember how I preach how I used to go? Let's go into some Psalms. Con, yeah, yeah. Let's go into I love the Psalms, Psalms, man. Hey, Psalm 121, Psalm 23. Sure. Oh, man, the 121st Psalms, Psalms 54. Those are like my favorite Psalms. Psalm Psalms 56. Psalm oh, I'm real big on the Psalms, man. I have a series that I used to do on my other page. Uh, you know, I'll do other videos, but then I would, okay, this video is going to be the Psalms. Yeah. And I would just go into different Psalms and break them down. The Psalms go into prophecy, yeah. uh, uh, uplift. Oh, yeah, there's nothing but prophecy. Everything. Psalm 91 is not but yeah. prophecy, Psalm 91 man. is not but uh, Revelation 18. Yeah. Exhortation. Yeah. You know what I mean? All oh, that. Yeah, I was suffering. The Psalms yeah. cover that. God. David spoke about it through the Spirit. You brothers. Y'all hear me say this throughout my videos, Psalms 51. It hey, made a fact, yeah, I, yeah. I, I hate to say it, years ago, you know, going back to the 90s, and this dude, Robert Jones, he was the one that actually kind of put me onto that scripture, you know, back then, 30 right. years ago. Look, right. brother, Psalms 51, you got to send that up as a prayer, brother. And that was like 30 years ago, whatever, Robert Jones, the one oh, who that was Ezekiel. That was yeah, Ezekiel, yeah, yeah. that was Ezekiel. Prophesied on the train. Yeah, yeah. He's the prophesied on the train. I brought him to council. Yeah, yeah. Then we started prophesying on the train. Yeah, we started prophesying on the trains. But that brother, he's the one who put me on to that, that particular scripture. You know, I was still young. Look, brother, you got to sing this up as a prayer. You really talk like that, too. Every day. Yeah, yeah. So it stuck in my head for 30, over 30 years. And I, yeah. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Well, that Psalm. was a song we said at the Sabbath service. Come, remember? Come, come. Psalm 51. Yep. Come. We said Psalm 121, Psalm 23, come, Psalm come. 51. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Psalm 2. Psalm 2. Yep. Uh, uh, Psalm 51 and 1. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Huh? Can't go wrong with the Psalm Ooh, of David. Yep. King David, man. King David, we were talking about King David. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah. You were saying about David? Yeah. Moses uh, yeah. wrote yeah. Psalms. <laughs> And Mo why, would, yeah. why did Moses write Psalms? Because Moses is David. Right. Yeah. 
we were talking about David earlier. Yep. Yep. We, we, were, were, we were speaking about if anybody's gonna write a song, it, it would be him. All the he, stuff he went through. Right. He committed right. murder. He committed adultery. Yep. So you know he was feeling bad over that. Yep. Yep. As a matter of fact, Psalm 51. That's about yep. him when he went into Bathsheba. That's right. Mm. And, and, and he committed a uh, murder when he uh, uh, had Uriah set up to be killed, mm. and then took Uriah's wife, which was Bathsheba, yep. Yep. which is adultery. Yep. Now by rights he was supposed to be put to death. Put to death. Yep. He was supposed to be put to death by murder rights. Murder and adultery. But the Lord gave him something worse than death. Yeah, yeah. He got he got worse than death. Yeah. He got worse than that. Most High is truly the king of terror. Yeah, you people yeah. out there, man, God is all, you don't know the Most High, man. Yeah, yeah, but you're getting ready to. You're going to know him. You're, you're going to know, know him real soon. You're going to know him real. You're going to know him up close really? and personal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And you ain't going to oh, yeah. like it either. You ain't going to like what you're going to know. And you're going to be running to us, and we ain't going to be there. That's right. The Most High is talk to the hat. The Most High is going someplace, and you're not going to like it. There you go. God is all love. You're going to find out he's not all love. All you fucking moles and, you know, alphabet people, y'all through. That's gonna be that's gonna be disintegrating, man. Oh yeah. Well, America's gonna be disintegrating. Yeah. Well, that, well, I call this place Big Mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Little, got little Mary. This is Big Mouth. Was, that was brilliant. Yeah. 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 Hey, well, yeah. How should I say what? I am come to, send, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Maui right. was a great example of the fire being kindled. Man. And we know what happened behind the scenes. Yeah. Now, oh, if yeah. you check out the, the the death toll, the first. The first people that they officially said was there was six. Oh, people. Yeah. And it went from right. six people. Oh, yeah. And it went, listen up, it went from yeah. six people. Then from six people, I think it went to uh, 36 people. Then from 36 people, it went to like something like 63 people. Mm. They could do three sixes. Then mm. from there, it kept going. Every time it, it rolled up, the last count was 114 people. Add up 114. 114, nice. you got four, nice. two, makes it six. So you kept coming back with six, so you want, why they do that? They're showing the people, the, the elite, that's that's a hidden message, yeah. that we were behind it, man. Wow. Yeah. That's called a, 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 a sacrifice by fire. Right. Yeah. 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 That was a sacrifice by fire. Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifice. That's right. Probably unto Molech. Unto that's Molech. Right. Yeah, yeah. Molech. It's usually when they do that fire sacrifices. Hey, Waco, to... Texas, why they burn it down? Because that was a sacrifice by fire. Yep. Yeah, to Molech. Yep. Molech yep. is one of the main demons of the wicked elite worship. So so the most high is going to sacrifice by fire and burn. Oh, yeah. Which is the land of Edom. This is known as the land of Edom. So the most the most high is going to burn it under a, a burnt sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Psalm 51 and 1, it says, to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me. Now we know why that Psalm is so heavy, because yeah. David was feeling all fucked up. He, he knew what he did. Yeah. And then Nathan, man, Nathan came and put salt in the wound. Because hey, Nathan set him up cold. Nathan said, yeah, he told him that parable, there was a lamb. And you know, you can read the story. And then David was, ah, that man should be put to death. Then Nathan said, that man is you. And then he said, you know, he went into giving David his judgment, the prophet Nathan. Anyway, it says, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. David wanted some mercy. Yeah, yeah. Because he know what he had just did. Yeah. Blood out my transgressions. Now guess what? There are certain transgressions you Israelites have committed. It's not going to be blotted out. Yeah. Yep. The only way you can pay for it is through your death. Yep, that's it. That's so, it. So think about that. God is all love, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. But you see, but then the thing is, you guys don't repent. See, like we always talk even about... Even if they do repent, even there's certain do. transgressions yeah. the Heavenly Father have held against you. It's all about not, the elect. It, it, it's, it's, it's who the... Right. It's all about the elect. It's who yeah. the Heavenly Father have chosen. Yeah. There's certain Israelites who have committed transgressions which was going to be held... Uh, what did David say? Held to you. Uh, Blessed is the man whom the Lord have not imputed. Right. What was that? Psalms 32. If, if you could get that, since we're talking about transgressions, you're going to learn the Most High is not all love, man. And he's not a joke that you can take for, for, for a joke, okay? The Most High is deadly serious. That's why he's called the Most High. Man. Go ahead, bro. Psalms? Psalms. Yeah, yeah. Of quote something that you always said. Uh, the Most High is to be feared. <laughs> so you used to always say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's to be feared. Go ahead. Bro. Psalms 32, the verse 1. The Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom. Psalm right. Right. Proverbs 1 and 7. Go ahead. A psalm of David, uh, masculine, it says, uh, it says, Blessed is he 
whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Now here's the question. Is the Lord forgiven all the transgressions of this nation? The answer is no. Right now he's only forgiven the elect of this nation, their transgressions. All right, so if you're not part of the elect, part of what's gonna bring you judgment is your transgressions. Not only in this life, but, but your past lives. Because yeah, right. as it is written, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, the Lord requires that which is past. Okay? So this thing is deep, man. This, this is no joke here. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. Look up the word impute. It literally means to be, be held accountable. So there are sins these Israelites have committed in the past that the Lord... <laughs> The Lord is still holding them accountable for that sin. Yeah. They're not, Yahweh Shai didn't pay for that sin. Okay? Yahweh Shai didn't pay for that sin. That's scary, bro. You know? Yahweh Shai told the wicked Pharisees, you shall die in your sins. Yeah. Why did he tell them that? Because he didn't pay for their sins. Yeah. Okay? He didn't pay for the, he paid for the sins of the elect. And through the elect, all the nation is going to make it. All the nation of Israel is going to make it. That's why the Apostle Paul only was only concerned about who? The elect. The elect. The elect. Why do you think we keep talking about the elect? The elect. The elect. The elect. Yeah, that's uh, St. John uh, 8. You shall, about the 20th verse, you shall yeah. die in your sins. Yeah, yeah. You shall die in your and sins. That, and that death is talking about, they're going, they about right here in America, yeah. and they're going to eat, eat that missile. That's yeah. what the Lord meant by uh, the place where the worm dieth not, mm. and the fire is wow. not quenched. Wow. He was talking about America. But well, wait a minute, the wacky taggy Christian, the wacky taggy Christian tell you Jesus paid for all our sins. So why did the same Jesus you use? You, you one cut, one cut, cut, one scripture cuts that you read it earlier. Yeah. Uh, uh, St. John uh, 17 and, uh, is that St. St. John 17 and 9? I'll read is it again. I mean, you I'll niggas are going to die, man. You niggas are going to die. They have no man. idea, man. They have you no idea. You don't know about, uh, uh, we're talking about the elect. See, vocab, you don't know about this. Hey, vocab, did you ever read, uh, uh, did you ever read First Peter's <laughs> one and one? And did you ever read Second elect, Peter's right? one and one? To the elect, yeah. Did you ever read that vocab? Read that and tell me what the fuck that's talking about. Do a video and tell me what that's talking about. Well, you don't know. You don't know. Uh, well, Cal well, Calvin said uh, that was yeah. the strangest way Israelites. Right. Even Calvin said that. Yeah, the, your boy who's supposed to follow. Me. Well, that was you in another life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe that. You look, you look just like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. yep. And that's that goes over his head. Cut, that goes he over can't his understand that. So he told you who, who you are. He told you who you are. And you can't even life. understand the concept of, uh, of uh, uh, reincarnation. Regeneration. Regeneration. Reincarnation. It's the same thing, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, John 17 and 9, Pastor Arcofi. I pray for them. By the way, this is a prayer. I'm going to show it to you, people. The, word, <laughs> the words are written in red, baby. Right. That's right. Red this is letter. your Hawashai speaking here. Red letter edition. Red letter right. edition. That's right. All right. John 17 and 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Who's the them? The elect. The world is talking about the world of Israel. Who's the them? The elect out of the nation of Israel. All right. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. That's the Hawashai speaking. All right, we know it says, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. Again, the Hawashai is talking about the elect. Right. All right. Something you want to say about that? Bishop no, come, because that uh, we were also speaking about that earlier. You know, dealing with the uh the word profanity. Right. Now we know right, we know that according to uh Revelation the eleventh chapter, beginning from the first verse on down, it said that that the Gentiles that were outside of the temple, you know, you know, it spoke on that. That's talking about the natural Gentiles. We know that. We ain't saying that. We know about that. Yeah, the the uh, Esau, Edom, and the other heathen, they got no parts in our this thing of ours in Yahweh Shai and within our temple and none of that because they're unclean. They were created to be unclean forever. There was never a time when the Lord sanctified any of the heathen ever. He only sanctified one nation, and that's the nation of Israel, and that's what these stupid, wacky, tacky Christians don't get. But they try to put, but now we, were, we, were, we made a little lesson speaking about two-thirds of our people uh, that, that you see on this sign right here, 
they are like a unto the profane. So get that right. That's what we're trying to say, you know. Beginning with these false Israelites right. that are in the sting of ours. Yeah. They're part of the, the two thirds. Yeah. Because they're going to get the same judgment that the two thirds are going to get. They're going to get the same judgment as a, a cracker would get, uh, as an uh, uh, Edomite would get, which is the thermonuclear missiles. Fire. Right. So, so uh, again, John 17 and 9, right. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou has given me, for they are thine, and for they, for which thou has given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Right. That's the elect. That's, the That's elect. why when Yahweh Shai comes back, who's he going to gather, huh? Right. Let's read it, Matthew 24 and 30. Let's see if Yahweh Shai is going to gather the whole nation when he comes back. You guys should know the scripture. You other, when I say you guys, you other Israelite groups. Matthew 24 and 30. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Who's that? That's Yahweh Shai. Another one of his titles, right? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is going to be killing a lot of people. Isaiah 66 and 15. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Yep. Right? So that's why it says all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. Why are they going to mourn? Because Yahweh Shai is going to be killing a lot of people. Yahweh Shai is going to come in what you call the so-called UFO, which is a chariot of the Lord. And he's going to have an army of angels with him. And those so-called UFOs, laser beams going to come out of them, which is the chariots of the Lord. And it's going to be destroying buildings, destroying vehicles, destroying everything in its path. That's that fire the Lord said. Matter of fact, in the uh, Luke 12 and 49. That's that fire the Lord said covers. We know what that fire is talking about. And then you add that fire with the, missile, the fire of the nuclear missiles. That's how this place is going to be turned into a lake of fire. America, 5,000 square miles of fire. Yeah, now you know there's a lot, I'm gonna get it, I just want to say, yeah, now there's a lot of Israelite groups, they don't, I mean, they, they may touch on the thermo, thermonuclear fire and all that, but not like they're supposed to, man, and definitely you already know they don't touch on the MOTB, because we already know before the thermonuclear missiles hit, the prophecy of the MOTB, which is written in Revelation 13 and 16, has to come to pass, we know that, but a lot of these Israelite groups, man, they don't even, they don't even really, they may mention it, but really they don't believe that that America is going to be burnt 100 percent. They don't even want to see America destroyed. They, right. They hardly talk about right. it. Right. That's how you know. Yeah. That's all we talk about. Yep. The destruction of this place, the coming of the mark of the beast. Right. The downfall of this society. Right. Them other Israelite groups like they got their head up their ass. So they're like the heathen. Getting married and shit. Yeah. They're like Nick. Come on. Baron Samidi. And he really looks like Baron Samidi, man. He got that bun on top of his head and shit. If I may say, why you think we've been doing videos? This is what you're supposed to be talking about. Yeah. We've been doing videos like that. Because the number one subject is the mark of the beast. Con, the karagma. Because it well, seems like... Yeah. Yeah. It's going to come to pass, and your brother's going to have to make a decision as to what you're going to do. That's right. And That's who right. you're going to follow. Con. That's right. Go ahead, have, okay. If, if, yep. any then, you, if any of you uh, that's part of uh, any other camp, that they're teaching that the mark is not what we say it is. Right. If you're part of the elect, you're gonna you're gonna leave. You're gonna come to battle. Yep. Yep. And you're gonna be seeking to get with us. Cut, right. Cut, cut. We're the home of the hundred percent truth, whether cut, you like it or right. not. Who keeps it? All right. Look, Romans three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall your unbelief make the faith of the heavenly? They gotta be brothers with a hundred percent truth down here, man. And if it wasn't us, we'd have known about those guys. We'd have yeah. heard about them. They would have been making noise. Okay. Yeah. How's it go? Make a joyful noise. Huh. Onto the Lord. Oh, whatever. Well, hey, yeah. that's a plan. Yeah. Hey, man, you guys, uh, like uh, General Yohanna, you told dudes to get the jumpy. Yes, you did. You did the you know, Last time I was here, Pastor Hud showed me the video. Uh, you, yeah, man, I'm healthy. I told brothers. Now, like I said, and I, uh, I did another video. Well, we you, know why you said that. Yeah. You took the back. A lot of you guys, yeah. you will find out that a lot of these things were like, guys out here. Guys, that don't took it back. False yeah. prophets. Yeah. Peter said it. Uh, uh, Second Peter, two and one. Let me, let me get that real quick. Now, whether you Judas, really, I'm sorry. Oh, Judas, no, no, I'm sorry, Apostle. Judas, is, Judas is carrying. Yeah. What did he ultimately yeah. do? He took the back. Right. Yeah. So Judas took it. Yeah. And then he tried to, pieces, he tried to throw it back. Right. And then, it and then, was. And then wicked niggas wasn't accepted. Yeah. yeah. Now, Yohanna, whether you really took the, whether you really took the jumpy or not. We don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But your job, we've been saying this for years. You a Judas goat, man. Oh, your job, because you knew that shit was death. 
So your job was to get these dummies to take it, man. Take the, you know, the jumpy. You see what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I took it. I'm healthy, nigga. You look like Big Shirley. Yeah. Talking about you healthy. And even damn stupid Sarnetta said he didn't do it. But you said you did it and you told the, your congregation to do no, it. Sarnetta did say it. he took it. Oh, he eventually he did it. You got weak. He got, he got weak and he yep. took it. See that? Yep. Now there's a whole bunch of people dropping dead of that yeah. myocarditis. Yeah. Well, you got which, that video, uh, so, uh, Died Suddenly. You can find it on... Um, um, I think I caught a little bit of... Yeah, uh, I got yeah. it on saved on my phone. You can yeah. find it on uh, uh, Rumble. The Rumble. Rumble. So go check yeah. that uh, movie out, Died yep. Suddenly. Yep. They scared the shit out of you. Yep. People just dropping, man. Uh, second Peter, the back of My friend that grew up there as a kid, oh, yeah. died, and he told me, yeah. before, a week before he died, I picked him up, and he said, I the first thing he said, I shouldn't have taken that thing. I said, how go. many did you take? He said, I took all of them. Oh, took the boy. first one. And then the uh, jump, the, uh, the booster. The booster, yeah. I think he took four shots all together. Oh, boy. And then his mother came, because I grew up knowing his mother, and she said that you saw, saw my son, I haven't seen him, I put out a report, missing per, missing persons. And then she came back about a, about a half a week later saying, oh, you know, he died. He didn't feel right, he went to the hospital, he went to sleep, he hooked them all up, and he never woke up. In the hospital, he died in the fucking hospital. Wow. Yeah. This ain't no joke. Now, unfortunately, my mother, I mean, the Lord had mercy on us, but my mother took all of them. She took the dish, the, the boost dish, she took all of them. Hey, you know, you know, you know, you're hot about this. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And well, it's like a ticket time bomb. That thing is in your body. Yep, yep. It's only a matter of time. Yep, so, yep. Anyway, uh, you were talking about uh, your honor. Yeah. That's what the prophecy says. Again, prophecy. Because this is this is Peter saying things that's going to happen before it happens. Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So isn't that a prophecy? No. Yep. And it came to pass. Uh, you, you got uh, your false teachers out there. Uh, and right. it really, it's your job, you people out there, to spot the false teacher. Right. It is your job to quit telling me the truth. And if you don't listen to us, and you listen to somebody like this, the mark of the beast. That's the most important, that's the most major prophecy that's going to take place. Max. The last three prophecies are going to take place. Major prophecies is the, the mark of the beast, oh, yeah. the destruction, and the deliverance. Right. And then the kingdom. Right. That's, that's the last three prophecies. Right. There's going to be other little prophecies here and there, yeah, but the yeah. major prophecies, right. when this destruction comes, I keep saying that. Right. When this deliverance and this destruction come, it says the righteous are scarcely making meaning what? Right. We're going to see the missiles come in the atmosphere. We're going to get a little nervous. Right. And then we're going to be beamed up. The remnant shall be afraid. The remnant shall be afraid. The remnant shall be afraid. Right. 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 How about you know, shit? So, so it behooves you to not take that chip. Because the chip, despite what these other guys say, they're lying. Even, even, they, took, even, they, took the, uh, even they took the bag. Or the most high blinded them and set them up to be a stumbling block. Right. Yep. So it's going to be a major shakeup. It's going to be a major shakeup among you groups. Because y'all be watching us. That's why this guy, yep. Nate, always said, you got the window shop. Because right. you go to the side, the, the hard set this, the hard set that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What's going to, it, it, comes, it comes down to this. If you're one of the elect, you're not. You're not going to take it. You're going to follow the two men. Right. And then if you're not on the left, you're going to take it. You're going to definitely take it. Yeah. I got a hey, hey, You know, uh, we did that a couple of weeks ago. We did that video with the All Them Brothers. We said it's going to be an instant classic. Guess what? This video here, that's going to be oh, an yeah. instant. I, I can feel it. Yeah, I can God, feel it in God. my bones. Oh, God, God. <laughs> this is going to be an instant classic. All right? I have a quick hey, precept. Ahead, if a man, this is uh, Micah 2 and 11. It says, if a man walking in the spirit of falsehood, do lie. Break it down, bro. Yeah, it says if a man walking in the spirit of falsehood, pretty much a, a, a false prophet. <laughs> you know, a, a well, leader. How do you know he walking in the, the spirit of falsehood? By by what he say. Yeah. What, if if he say something that's contrary to what Yahweh Shai has, has said. The mark of the beast is sleeping with right. white women. Uh, what else? That's, what else? Yep, uh, yep. Uh, uh, the mark of the beast is uh, uh, Caesar Boger. Yeah, the hell doctrine. The hell, yeah. You know? If a King David sure. and King Solomon slept with white women. So they had the mark of the beast? Well, you had guys saying that uh, King Solomon had the mark of the beast. Apostle Paul had the mark of the beast. They don't even know what the mark of the beast is. They don't know what the beast is. They don't know what his mark is. They don't know what his image is. Go ahead, bro. If a man We're walking... We shots in the dark. Yep. We don't take shots in the dark here. Scripture say we have a sure more word of, of, of 
of Tesla. prophecy. Yeah. Of prophecy. We're sure of what we're saying. Because it ain't really us saying it. It's the spirit of the yeah. scriptures speak about, uh, about against taking away and add Revelation uh, it's also in Proverbs right. 30. Right. It's also in Revelation uh, 22. 22, verse 18 and yeah. 19. It says if you take away or if you yeah. add to it, right. you're going to be adding to the, uh, the right. lake of fire. Right. So if uh, Bishop Nate's right about the lake of fire being eternal health, then guess what, Bishop Nate? You're going in, you're going to burn forever. Yep, that's right. That's because right. you took away from the book. Remember, you were you you kicked us out for the Cornelius thing, sure did, right. and now you teach the thing of Cornelius, and guess what? You gonna wind up have you gonna have to you gonna have to you gonna have to you gonna have to you gonna have to. Yep, you're going to have to teach it the right way, or you got to keep it going. Or you got to keep it going and say, look, tell the people to go ahead and take it. Right. You tell them to take it, coming on that damn horse. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yep. If a man walking in the spirit of, uh, in the, if a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink, which the wine and strong drink is talking about is the different philosophies right. and lies that that you know these, these niggas would make up cunningly devised fables cunningly devised fables to gain the to gain the congregation get more people to come in for money man F the filthy lucre uh, uh, sake what, what was the scripture you know? say for the love of money is what the root of all it's evil the root of all evil right. these guys they love money more than the truth matter yeah. of fact get that love of money but yeah. read a couple of verses above okay it. you know you could buy an israelite garment on, on amazon and shit now oh wait a minute man i gotta say this if i start <laughs> you, say, you say that a few what, what, what? anybody could be ago, israelite now he talked about money he said look i'm good you know you, you you're talking about the, the, the uh, 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 you know a lot of these guys first. they do the gimmicks to get that money look the apostle paul told timothy having food and remnant let us there with right. content yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of you niggas ain't content yeah, you gotta content. have that big money you gotta have you, you're no different than them man, you guys are wicked man, man. Hey, hey you know apostle i'm a hey, hey, man hey for the grace of you how about i'm a linebacker hey i'm good man come, come. Hey, the Lord bless me, man. I'm able to survive. I, hey, I'm Having blessed. food right, and right. remnant that is there yeah, with me content. I got a roof over right. my head. I got a little something. Hey, nobody, Take care. nobody in, in uh, GMS is in one. When we do yeah. a closing camp, yeah. one hour is at Yep, yep, yep. Certain yep. 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 brothers, I'll look at it and say, you good? Yep. And I'm yes. good. I say, you sure you good, man? We'll be free line. Yep. Right. I'm a little uptight. Yep. What you need? I need uh, 20. I might give them a point. Yep. might say, listen, yep. get, you know, and I tell them brothers, get, yep. look out for the brothers. Yep. And if brothers are too shy, they, we got a system where they, they could talk to whoever. They'll, get the money. They'll, get the money. They'll get, eventually get it. Yep. 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 I got a vehicle. I got a vehicle. I got a nice place to stay. Brothers, we take care of each other. Yeah, man. yes, we do. Yo. There's love in, in GMS. <laughs> There's love in GMS. First Timothy, we've been in the streets. <laughs> oh, we've been home. Yeah, we're home. Yeah. First Timothy 6 and 5, it says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai, and to the doctrine which is according to righteousness, he is proud knowing nothing but gordon about questions and strifes of words. Where cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmises, mm -hmm. perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. I'm sorry, what verse is that? That was uh, uh, the fifth verse I just read. Start from the top. Okay, First Timothy uh, six and one. Let as many servants as under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor that the name of Yehovah Shemel Shai and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yehovah Shai, to the doctrine which is according to righteousness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, and evil surmising. Yeah, because that's what a lot of these different camps do. Like they'll come against us with the great doctrine. He's still talking about it. Right. Yeah. He's still talking about it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a stumbling block unto them. Well, it's a, stum it's a stumbling exactly block. It yeah. It's a stumbling block. Yeah, because we've been, we've done dealt with it and we moved on. So if they actually you know? want us to sit down and really explain it, you don't have to come with the money. 
50 G's. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. break it down to you thoroughly. God. 50 God. G's. God. Nigga, you all about money. Yep, I'm all about that money. <laughs> give me give me that money. Show yeah. me the money. <laughs> uh, the fifth verse, it says, reverse disputants of men. Man, nigga won't get nothing if they, if they don't pay. If you give them something for free, they don't, they don't respect it. They don't honor it. Right. That's true. But if you got to come out your damn pocket, yeah. your pocket that means you're going you gonna to pay attention to it. Yep. Uh, fifth verse, reverse disputants of men of corrupt minds. These guys are corrupt minds. Right. Some of them are just corrupt because of the devil. Some of them is corrupt because of money. Right. Some, yeah. of, them, some of them know that the market of peace is a microchip. Some of them know that we're teaching it the right way. Oh yeah. Some of them know that we have a hundred, we teach hundred percent truth. Yeah. But they've been compromised, man. Yeah. A lot of those guys are jealous. It tells you they gave up one of the reasons they gave up your house shop is for jealousy. Jealousy. Yeah. You got that now. You know, they know that the Holy Spirit is not working with them and they see men like us. Man, the Holy Spirit working with them. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why the Holy Spirit working with them and not me? They're yeah. jealous. Yeah. It's good to speak about jealousy. That's why they scoff. There you go. That's why they scoff. They can't look down. down. They're jealous. Yeah. And you can see that jealousy. You yeah. can see it in the comments that they write. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ask me in the comments. Oh, case in point with the whole thing with Hafiz Ariyan. We got a report and, you know, we believed it. I believed it. But then I, it came out that it wasn't true. We was talking about that in the, the car on the way down. Then they said, they, they put it on us. They put it on GMS. Yeah, y'all made the rumor. GMS made that rumor up. Yeah, you can say that, but we made it because we heard it from two different people. Yeah. So we thought it was true, true. Yeah. But it worked out for good because guess what? We praised them as a great man. That's right. right. And even Yohanna praised him as a great man. Even Nate praised him. You know, you know the only motherfucker that didn't praise him? Oh, yep, I yep, he said, yep. fuck it. You know? Yeah, well, yep. mm -hmm. so, so, so that happened for a reason. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we, know, we know his standing in this Yeah, thing. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, man, you know what so we can say that we can say to Yohanna and Nate, there's some decency in you. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the movie Five Things and Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shang yeah. Lang oh, yeah, 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 yeah. said, "There's some you decency." You always about that. Scene. There's some decency in you. And the one, the one I, the one, the one uh, swordsman. I used to watch his videos. He always talked about the technique in his movies. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Inch, the, Sato Inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, I used to watch it early Saturday morning. Yeah, oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I used to I watch that. it, even though I, it was, it was in Japanese, but you read the subtitles. Yeah. yeah, your integrity was a big thing. For you. Yeah. Uh, First Timothy six and five: Perverse disputants of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. Now remember, this is a letter Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy. This is a personal letter. Because Timothy, I believe his, his, his position was he was a bishop over the church in Ephesus. So Apostle Paul was telling him how to, how to conduct the church. You know? When you go into the history. Uh, but godliness with contentment is great gain. There it is. Righteousness with contentment is great gain. That's right. For for we brought nothing into this world. And Three it is certain we get out of here, okay. so we should be yeah. okay. yep. And it now now listen to this. It says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. I mean that's just a fact. That's right, man. You going in the spirit world, you're going in the spirit and world. You ain't man. going with them all them goodies that yeah, all that yeah. money you got and them goodies you got, you're not your, leaving with that your shit. Your car, your clothes, your jewelry, uh, your, your wallet. That's staying right here, somebody else can some, spend that. Some fool is gonna get that. Yeah, or your woman. <laughs> Even your woman. Uh, uh, the eighth verse. Now here it comes. And Yahushua said the same yeah. thing in the Our Father prayer. Give us God. this day what? Our daily bread. Our daily bread, right? Yeah, man, we live day by day, bro. We live but day you know by day. We're gonna wake up a number of years ago, Father God. Then when we was working at Mobile, yep. you, you gotta remember this, man. We, yep. as we was working at Mobile, we was back in the nineties. And I forgot for some reason I there. He's a brother. He said, "Be alive." Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's the day in the car. Yeah. And that day, I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah. That's why the scripture uh, says, uh, that's why the scripture say, say <laughs> if it be the Lord's will. Kind, right. Say we're going to do this and do right. that. Because I asked you something, I said, we're going to do this tomorrow. You might not be alive. Yeah, but that's true. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's true. 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 And that's how we live. We live yeah. day by good, day. Good, good. All right. Like the song, day by day. <laughs> well, that's in Deuteronomy 28, uh, 60, God, yeah. found out 67. Oh, yeah. Would we'll be to the Father. Yeah. Right. Would we'll be the Father. We, you yeah. know, we'll be alive. 
Oh, no, what about that parable the Howard Shine taught? The rich man pulled down his bonds and he said, I'm going to build bigger ones. And he yeah, said, Dow yeah, yeah. did not know that it was the day of your death. This day I, I require thy soul. Yeah, yeah, never so. know, bro. You never know. Well, that's these Edomites. These Edomites don't know that they do know, but they're bucking up against the Most High. They know that they're going down, but they're going to try to pull a fast one on the Most High. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is it right here. Um, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 60, 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. And that's it over here in the mirror. Right. And shall have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would it be the most high? It were evening. So you made it to the evening. Through who? Through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah You made it to the evening. Right? Oh, something I learned from uh, Elder Apostle Carl, something he always says. Every morning we'll wake up and say, Barakatai Yahweh Shemiah for allowing me to see another day. As soon as we get up in the morning, I that. Yep. So all you brothers and sisters out there, you should be saying the same thing. As soon as you get up, as soon as you open your eyes on your bed, say, Barakatai Yahweh Shemiah I live to see another day. Because I, I certainly do it. Yeah, yeah, I feel so, I'm still like, as soon as I open my eyes, I'm still, before I even sit up, that's the first thing I'm, I do. I pray to the Lord, man. Well, Joe prayed for death. Yeah, he said, yeah. why, why wasn't I uh, born as a miscarriage? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We drove chapter three. Yeah, we want to be alive, all three of us, because our main... Me too. Uh, yeah, but I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Of course. Of course. You know what I mean. Of course. Of course. Uh, I'm a little excited. No, no, I just wasn't. Um, <laughs> don't leave me. We want to be alive to do this work. Man. That, that's the only reason we want to be here. And remember what you said about the hundred years ago? You said, hey, man, this truth is all we got. You said, if the Lord put you out to be we'd be like, but you did. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, Peter said that to you. Hold on. Peter, Peter said that to you. Hold on. Peter said that to you. Hold on. He just said that to you. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, yeah, God, no, well, it's not just for this. You got to go for the mouth. You think you're out? He said, no, no, shoot, do it. Hey, God. Well, that's the attitude you're supposed to take with you. Well, Peter said that to you. That's it. Peter said, you said, said you going to leave too? When, when the 70 left, you, you guys can read it. When the 70 left, Peter, uh, Yahushua looked at Peter. He said, you going to leave too? Peter came back with, where are we gonna go? Yeah, you have yeah, the words yeah. of truth. <laughs> so that was a that was a that was <laughs> that was the best comeback Peter could ever come back Jeremiah wanted to leave. He could not stay. He could not get there was a brain yeah, fire yeah, inside, inside, right, inside of him that made him So so the, so ones of us that keep look, when we get up in the morning, we do a video, right? Saturday, normally he'll call, I'll say, well, this brother's gonna call, and he'll call, and I'll say, I'm doing the video. Like, there's certain days where the spirit says, take it easy, you don't want to go out there. Take it easy. Oh, boy. And then while, you, but while the demon is saying that, yeah. you're getting your stuff together. Yeah, yeah, the demon yeah. is saying, you don't want to go. Just take it. You can take a few. You've been going out for, for the for 40 years. You can take a few. Good, good, good. But this brother's gone. Right. You're the head man. But while, but while that's happening, right, right, right I'm right. getting my bag together. Right, right, right. It's like it's like a, like a buzz, you know? Right, right. We're getting all my stuff together. Because right. we got to be here. Right. We got to be out right. here. The dispensation God. of the gospel is God's given unto me. Right. That, thank you, brother. That's what the apostle Paul hey, said. But check this out. Yeah, yeah. Now, these other top leaders that, been, that go back to the one West, oh, yeah. if you notice, they don't go out. They're laying back. You, if you notice, the leadership, nope. the leadership of them guys, right. they don't go out. The ones that go out are the ones under the mix of that. Yeah, they yeah. gotta go out. Yeah. Guess what? We out here, man. Yeah, we out here. That's Bishop right. May ain't out here, but his men is out there. Yeah. 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 And they had to give King David a stiff warning not to go out into battle. Yeah. Because King David was wounded and he still wanted to go out. There. Well, yeah. this is the spiritual battle. Yeah. So we're fighting that. Hey, look. But what did Yahweh say? Believe me for my very work's work sake. That's right. What does That's the, right. the Christian say is not about works. But why did the Lord say that? Yahweh yeah, right. said, that. believe me for my very work's sake. Right. That's That's right. Right. So he do what? So shut the fuck up, yep. you oh. fucking Christian. Oh, he yeah, said, he yeah. said, he made it's a not about works. Yeah. Well, why did the Lord say that? It is about right. works, man. Believe, believe, if you don't believe me, believe me for my very works' sake. Yep. He also said, matter of fact, get that somebody. Please get yeah, yeah. that. Yep. Get hey, Mo, yeah, yeah. Man, I, I got to back up, Pastor. He said he also said uh, when they were when they was about to stone him, he said, "For which good work do you stone me?" I remember he said that because they were about to stone him, 
And they say, oh, because you made yourself equal with the Heavenly Father. Then he cut him. Yeah, he said, for which good work, many good works I've done, which good work do you stone me? Right, yeah, I wish I was nice with the words. That's right, man. He was nice with the words. Hey, man, King Masha and Hafiz Jaqua, they kept coming around until they were old. Like, they were old men. Remember uh, Jaqua, Hafiz Jaqua? Man, we know, but we yeah, still look there. after we were there, man. We were there. would still come around the corner, you know, when he was going, you know. Yep. He would still come he was going come to the school, man. Yeah, he was going he was still, but he was still yeah. lively to the left, man. He, he would still walk around the corner and try to walk off. Yep, yep. Still come to the school. He'd That's still right. be up Max. in the mix. Max. King Marshall, up until the time he was in the hospital bed, he was still... Right. Teaching, man. He was still about it. And yeah. if he wasn't in the hospital bed, he'd be out doing the work. He'd be yeah. out doing the work. Because that was the kind of man he was. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Up until his, he was in his, what, 60s? Most. Was about? Most, almost 70. Almost 70. 70. He was he still was coming out to the camp. Right? You know? So we ain't got no excuse. No, we ain't got no excuse. Okay, so let's bring this out and open the close. All right, St. John 14 and 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father <clears throat> that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So it's all about the works. Cut. You gotta do the work. Oh, how's it go? Uh, uh, James said it. I'll show you my faith by my works. That's right. That's it. Yeah, that's what that's what James said. Yeah. And who's that James? That was Yahweh's brother. Ooh. What's that scripture? Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Nice. It's also in James. Nice. You see what I'm saying? You gotta do the work. A man may say, yeah. a man may say I have faith. Yeah. I'll show you my faith by my work. You guys talking about some of you guys, but well, I know I'm an Israelite. I keep the Sabbath, I keep the high holy days, but we don't gotta go out there. You had guys that said that you don't gotta go out teaching. Well, them they did justify in saying that because they're not prophets. Yeah, con, con. So only the, so if you say you're a prophet, you're supposed to be prophet. If you supposed to, if you call yourself a prophet, you're supposed to be prophesying. Right? Right. The most I speak, who can but prophesy? Right. So who's gonna if the most I speaking, right. he needs prophets, right? Yeah, he absolutely. needs vessels. So the guys that don't go out there, you obviously are not the vessels, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not the vessels. You guys don't go out on the highways and the byways and doing the sit-downs. You might do a video every, once every six months. Guess what? You are not a prophet anymore, which makes you not want to be a left. That's right. Yeah, I shall raise up men which shall never hold their peace. That's right. That's right. I got you one more verse. Hold, that's all you do is hold your peace. Yeah. You're laying back. <laughs> hey, they're laying back. Yeah, laying on back. On that ivory couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, exactly. in, uh, that's in Micah, I believe. The ivory. Yeah. What ivory. did the Apostle Paul say? So in the, the word ivory. burned in me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Jeremiah, Jeremiah actually said that. Oh, Jeremiah. Right? Right. Jeremiah. That's one of my favorite scriptures. That's yeah. why I know it. Yeah. Because he said, I cannot stink. God. He said the most I deceived me, I could not stay. God. But God. I had to come back because it was it was uh, it was a fire in my heart. God. God. That, you, you gotta do videos. You gotta you know and like if you, if you miss a day or two you feel guilty. Oh of course. So well, this go is the out standard. On the streets. Yeah, that's the standard. This is yeah, the standard. I'm glad you said that's nice how you said that. Yeah, yeah. That's man. the standard. The street, the street. That goes without saying, man. All you do is that you know you're supposed to go out to the camp. But you got to do videos and too. Thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Con, con, yep. con. No. Yep. Con. Right. One you more verse. You have not gone into the yep. gaps. Right? What does that mean? What is the gaps? Not nah, the internet. Con. Internet highway. No, no, no. no, no. The, the gaps are the streets, baby. Until the Lord say don't go in the streets. No right. More. That's the point. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, St. John 14 and 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. For what he did. Anyone with that would say shalom. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. 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 Shalom.